Tyler Paulson. I'm here with Morningside head football coach Steve Ryan. Um, coach, you've had two good wins over the season. Can you kind of talk about those first two weeks for us? Yeah. Um, you know, we opened the schedule, I think, with two outstanding opponents. Uh, we wanted to make sure our guys were tested and prepared before we entered conference play. Uh, William Penn is a, you know, physical uh, Heart of America team that's consistently in the top 10 and, excuse me, top 25. And, and I thought our guys played well, and they dealt with the physicality of the game and, and the way things went. And then, of course, last week we played Truman State, who was a Division II opponent, won their conference in 2016 when we had scheduled it. And so, um, outstanding opponent. With Truman State, we, you know, we always feel like we have a, a savvy opponent. They're, they're smart, and they play smart, and they're fast. And so, it was good for our guys to respond in both games very well. You know, some things I came away with us is, um, you know, our guys took care of business this summer. They came into the season in shape and, and physically ready to go, and that showed in those games, and, and uh, they handled the heat well. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, we've got some things to work on, and, and, and those things came out clear in those two games. Of course. Uh, kind of building off that, your senior quarterback, Trent Solzman, has thrown for over 300 yards in both games. Uh, can you kind of talk about how nice it is to have a, a senior leader like that? Yeah, I mean, what, what we have um, out of Trent is an outstanding leader, uh, outstanding person. And, and anytime you enter a season, you have a returning starting quarterback, um, that's a good thing, and especially if they're as, as talented as Trent is. And so Trent's entering his third year as a starting quarterback. He's, you know, there's not a whole lot that defenses can throw at him that he hasn't seen and he hasn't prepared for. And, and, uh, and so that gets us off to a good start. And then number two, you, know, you have Connor Niles, our all-time leading receiver now, I think about every category. Mm -hmm. You know, they played high school ball together and he's coming back. So you have, you have that going for, it for him as well as, you know, Addison and, and Reed back from a year ago. So he's got some receivers he's very comfortable with, he feels good with. And, and so uh, it's, it's really good to have a trend going. Absolutely. Um, and so we're opening up GPAC this week. Um, can you kind of can you talk about facing the Tigers this week, heading, uh, heading up to Dakota Wesleyan? Yeah, I mean, Dakota Wesleyan's always a hard place to play. You know, it's a little bit of a road trip. It's on the road. Um, oftentimes it's windy and you can have uh, inclement weather there and you really got to focus in and play. And uh, this year, you know, Dakota Wesleyan's, you know, they've kind of got a new offense and it's our first time seeing it. And so I'm hoping our guys respond really well. Mm -hmm. I think a major element in this, in this game this year is going to be you know, how fast they play. And, you know, the offensive numbers that they're putting up this year are, are staggering. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that's because they play fast and they get a lot of plays. And, man, it's probably going to be 95 degrees. It's mm -hmm. going to be hot. It's going to be one in the afternoon. And so our conditioning is really going to have to come into play and, and our defense's ability to get off the field. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate it, Coach. Um, for Midwest Sports Saturday, I'm Tyler Paulson.